That's right. I'm standing out here at Pope Joy Hall, and I'm not the only one standing out here. There is a very captive audience getting ready to see this moment. So what you're about to witness is fantasy and reality coming together in the Center for the Arts. So what we're going to see is how a real horse interacts with Joey, our war horse here. So I'm going to step away and just uh, let this moment happen. So as you can see here, folks, uh, you can tell <laughs> the real horse kind of sizing it up a little bit. Real horse is a little intimidated. I, I don't blame him. I'd be a little intimidated as well. What we're really looking at here is, is how well the ears popping up, which is very good. You can see the puppeteer. So I want to tell you a little bit about this puppet, folks, while we look at this interaction. Uh, Joey, our puppet, weighs only 120 pounds. It is handmade by 14 people. The frame mostly cane, soaked, bent, and stained. As you can see the detail on that, the artwork just absolutely exquisite. The aluminum frame along the spine uh, is lined partly with leather, leather for comfort. It also allows the horse to be ridden by an actor during the show. Uh, the stretched hosiery-like drojet fabric makes the skin beneath the frame, as you can see, which disguises the puppeteers underneath. So there are three puppeteers working this. There's a puppeteer at the head controls. He controls the ears and the head. One in the heart controls the breathing and the front legs, and the third controls the hind quarters, the tail, the back legs, and such. So the harness connects the puppet and puppeteer spines so that the movement becomes the breathing of the horse, and it really just sort of disappears. <laughs> I think the real horse, a little timid, the puppeteer smartly letting our, our real horse take a, take a moment here. So you know what, what I'm going to do, you won't see it off camera, but uh, we've, like I said, a very captive audience here. I'm going to ask you guys, so what do you guys think? Is that horse pretty cool? Yes. Yeah? Yeah? Is it hard to tell which one's real, which one's fake? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So, so what do you think about this? It's pretty amazing. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the artistry that goes into creating this, not just the physical uh, piece, but the artistry of the actors to make the illusion happen. Really, it's just nuts and bolts and uh, pieces of, uh, of material until the actors come in and inhabit the horse. And as you can see, they're, they're really giving life to the horse uh, with the breathing and its interaction with the actual horse. Let me step over here. What do you guys think of the horses? Uh, I like that it's, um, I like that it, he has those handle brakes that move him mm -hmm. around. That's yeah. my, those are my favorite. Yeah, you think you want to grow up and work on this show? Um, not no. Really. <laughs> no, at least he's honest. At least he's honest. Here we go, folks, as you, if you can see there, sniffing each other out. What's that? When horses go nose to nose or lick each other, mm -hmm. that means that they love each other. Yeah. And I just saw them go nose to nose. That's right, they sure did. That was a pretty beautiful moment. So as you can see him stepping around, I want to throw a couple other details at you folks as you watch this. The neck made of carbon fiber glass for flexibility. The eyes are black color behind clear resin, so light refracts through them. Look at that, that's amazing. So there's a lot of contraption going on underneath Joey, the, uh, the puppet horse. Uh, the right hind lever moves the tail up and down, the left hind lever, <laughs> left to right, and they move together, it spirals. The hair in the mane, as you can see there, it is all made of Tyvek, which is a plastic-like paper. And the horse getting friendly with, uh, Joey getting friendly with the real horse trainer. Oh, he's looking for treats. He's got a carrot. Which one of them is going to win the Kentucky Derby? That's a good question. My buddy here asks, which one is going to win the Kentucky Derby? I think the puppeteer should be in on that conversation. That's a lot of running for you guys. So I'm going to ask our, our horse trainer here, ma'am, what's your name? Paige. Paige? Yes, sir. How, and, and this, who, uh, who is our real horse? This is Jackie. Jackie? How old is Jackie? She's 25. She's 25, okay, 20, so she's... 28. 28, she's been 20. around the block. How do you yes. think she's doing so far? She's doing great. Yeah? I'm really impressed with her. Yeah. Jackie, what do you think? Yeah, my sentiments exactly.
My sentiments exactly. Do you, do you think that they have horse seating in Pope Joy? She she wants she wants to see the show. She's like, all right, this this guy's pretty good, but can he act? Really, that's what I want to know. So, folks, this is only a bit of the magic that is happening down here at Pope Joy Hall. The UNM Center for the Arts War Horse again opens tonight. Uh, you won't be able to see uh, the real horses on stage, but this, uh, as you can see here, Joey is about as good as it gets without actually having a heart beating inside of there. Tickets available. Go to unmtickets.com, 925-5858, or head over to casa.com. Click on the Style tab to get your tickets because I guarantee this show is going to sell out. For